Never bury your enemies alive. Hey, welcome back lads, so we are now just about 5 days away from Season 1 of Modern Warfare 3 and as you see here in the roadmap, there is a lot of new stuff, new content coming our way across all the different modes from multiplayer, zombies and warzone, so yeah, so far the season is looking so far so good. It could honestly end up being one of the biggest and best seasons we have ever had and a lot of people are comparing that to Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 last year which was just kind of, uh, I mean just look at it, the lack of content was abysmal so anyways let's jump into the new stuff for modern warfare 3 and i think a good place to start off is that we've had a deeper look into the brand new multiplayer dlc maps like the map meat which is a small chaotic map set in a slaughterhouse and as you can see the full layout of it there it does kind of look like hackney yard some people pointed out basically a small warehouse map and the other map coming at the start of the season is greece which they describe as a medium sized map but looking at the layout it is long, narrow, and very close quarters despite it not being a small map, and later on in the season, the third map is going to be Rio, and there are also going to be some events, multiple events in multiplayer that will kind of give some of the maps some makeovers this season, like the holiday event, that's going to have multiple Christmas themed maps in the background of this image, you can see that there is a nighttime holiday high rise, and personally what I want to see is a Christmas or holiday theme themed terminal. The other event is more like a limited time mode in multiplayer called Vortex that is kind of a zombies and multiplayer crossover. So you see some of the maps are like turned into zombies themed maps like a hellish quarry and a dark ether scrapyard but the mode itself they say is free for all but it's like a, a HVT free for all so basically one player will spawn in with the ray gun and then you kill them then you can pick up the ray gun. That's kind of the, the gimmick. And I think all of us would like to see those zombies themed multiplayer maps come to the actual zombies mode at some point in the future, whether they come as just small round based maps, or even like the onslaught mode in Cold War, which was a kind of very simple zombies mode, it wasn't your standard zombies, but yeah, I don't see why that wouldn't happen, it just makes too much sense. And that's what I thought it was at first when I saw those images, I was like, wait, zombies multiplayer maps? Come on bro. It's kind of like, you know, Black Ops 2 nuketown zombies it was exactly that idea where they just took nuketown zombified it and put it into zombies and it worked well um yeah as for other dlc things the weapons were leaked a long time ago we've talked about them a couple of times but now it's been officially revealed there are some changes like the arx 160 assault rifle is not there yet but instead we have this new launcher the storm ender which looks like some kind of futuristic laser blaster now there is also going to be two new kill streaks the EMP and the Swarm, which does confirm the leaks and rumours that we had heard about DLC streaks returning. So yeah, there is more to talk about that. I'm going to do a dedicated video sometime next week, early next week, to kind of go into everything that we've heard, all the leaked streaks, stuff like that. And of course, the EMP was shown in the multiplayer trailer before Modern Warfare 3 released, but for some reason they kept it back as, you know, a Season 1 DLC, and the EMP was back in the original Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2, so basically it like disables all the enemy streaks, all the electronics, including the minimap, and yeah, it's kind of a, a an annoyance streak and a uh, air superiority kind of thing. And then uh, talking about Black Ops 2 streaks, the drone swarm in that game, so it, it's just like that, right, where it's like how there was the hunter killer drone and then the swarm of hunter killers. This is the mosquito drones, right? So it's basically just. I mean, look at it, there's like hundreds of them flying around in the sky, it's just, they will annihilate the enemy team and probably cause them to rage quit, it's almost like a passive nuke, you know, well not passive, but like a, a slower painful nuke. We also got to look at the seasonal prestige stuff like I talked about a long time ago, those leaked bear icons, and yeah, the prestige system works just like it did last year in Modern Warfare 2, so it is what it is I guess, and uh, to summarise the zombie stuff, there is, there'll be a whole new act, Act 4, so there'll be a new set of missions and probably give us a new story campaign, there's also the new Dark for portals that will transport you to the Dark Eva dimension itself, that looks absolutely amazing, and yeah, there'll be like kind of harder missions it's like basically the, the fourth zone of difficulty and there's some other kind of minor dlc stuff like the vr11 wonder weapon returning and uh yeah 
Finally, of course, there is also going to be the Modern Warfare 3 integration for Warzone, and the main thing, of course, is the new map Urzikstan that we can play in Zombies right now, and uh, yeah, they did release a whole roadmap just for the Warzone stuff, but uh, I'm sorry lads, I'm, I'm not going to read all of that. So that does pretty much do it for all the um, main important new stuff across Season... I was about to say Season 6 for some reason. Season 1 coming next week on Wednesday, so yeah, that's about that. Stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.